What's going on people? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to do my three worst managers in Newcastle's history or in my lifetime. I'm sure there's three other worst sound ones I'm going to mention and this should be fun so I should give it a go. Now the third one I'm going to mention is Sam Allardyce. Now this guy is an absolute dinosaur in English football. His time is up now. So He's joined Newcastle from Wharton, right? And he's probably going to play at Wharton and Tatton football. Really? I've not seen it. So, a style of play is the hoof bar, and the fans are not very happy. Not impressed with the style of play. And he has been an absolute disaster for Newcastle. And he's been sacked six months after he took over by Mike Ashley. Wasn't this man. But his record 24 games, one eight of them. Drawn 6 and lost 10 with a run rate of 33%. That is sackable offence. And we want them him out and got him out. So, Sam Allardyce, sorry, not for me. And in number two position, the worst manager in Newcastle's history, I'm going to mention this guy. It'd be Joe Effing Kinnear, or Joke Kinnear, if you want, if you want to call it that. I've got to choke Joke Kinnear. He's, this guy, he's been out of the game for five seasons before he took over Newcastle. He always took over by default. So he comes to Newcastle, right, and the guy's out of touch. And then he made a name for himself in Newcastle when he had a go at Simon Bird. Swore at him about 40 or 50 times or whatever he did. But his record's not good enough as well. And he was never the man for Newcastle. And he only won about four games. Joe on six and lost eight. With a win rate of 22%. Joe Kinnear is one of the worst managers in our time. And when Ashley appointed him after Kevin Keegan left. I tell you what, my stomach turned. It really did. And I just had to laugh. It wasn't funny. And it was a one big joke. And then I realised it was reality. Joe Kinnear was a manager in Newcastle back in 2008 and he was absolutely awful. But he had to resign because he had a medical problem and I wished him well at the time, but he wasn't a man for Newcastle. Never have, never will be. Now, my number one Newcastle worst manager will be no other than John Carver. Now, this guy took over Brandon Pardew comfortably mid-table with 17 games to go. What does he do? He comes in, and we lost 13 games out of those 17. This guy would have took us relegated, and he was an absolute disaster. He really was. Saying that, I'm the best manager in the Premier League, I'm this and that. This guy is an absolute a disaster waiting to, act to happen. He could have got us relegated, and just as we won that game, the last game of the season against West Ham, we won by two goals to nil. John Carver, you are the worst manager in Newcastle United's history. And just so you left us after you did that. So those are my three. Let us know who's your three worst managers in Newcastle history. If you leave your comments down there in the section down below, and do you agree with this? And I hope you do. If you like my videos, leave a comment section, comments on the section down below. Subscribe to us and give us a big like so if you like my videos. And I'm going to do some more soon. Until then, I'll win the lads.